Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick Coca-Cola test uh, with the Sony Xperia XZ uh, on the left side and then we do have the uh, Sony Xperia X Performance. I should also tell you that... Um, oh, sorry, sorry. I did this video with the Sony Xperia X. That was really bad because I thought that phone was water resistant, but apparently it wasn't, even though it cost like 500 euros. Uh, but uh, it should be that on the X performance, which is very very nice. So my X, my normal Sony Xperia X phone died, kind of. That kind of sucked. Um, yeah, let's uh, see. So I have it uh, up here. We're just gonna do this a little bit quick, just for fun. People want to have a video on most things. So first of all, uh, there is a little bit of a difference between these two devices, mainly uh, like a tube uh, kind of design here. A little bit more on the um, uh, on the Sony Xperia X set, uh, but also that it feels a bit more premium. It has kind of like this metallic feel almost on the back. This one feels a bit more plasticky, I guess. Just feels a little bit cheaper. Uh, yeah, for sure, it feels a bit cheaper. The uh, this phone. Um, I'm really, really shocked how good it upgraded it with this one because it feels so premium. Uh, so um, yeah, let's do this. So first of all, what kind of Android version are they running on? Even though it does not matter for this video, but it can still be a little bit cool to know about phone, about phone. Android 6.0.1 on this one and the Android 7.0 beta on this one. Uh, I might install it also on my XZ phone. Uh, let's see, does this one have any ports that you may have to hide? Now, first of all, you cannot close this one, so apparently it should be open. Uh, but this one should be closed on the side here, so I just make sure that. And that's about it, I guess. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. So I'm just going to pour a little bit. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Great. This is a two liter bottle, so it can be a little bit hard here to hold. We don't need to use all the cola. You can just use a tiny bit. We might drink some ice. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, we can do this for a few minutes and I can show you uh, some other Xperia phones uh, which is available, uh, which is also new ones from this year, which might be a little bit interesting for you to check out. So first of all, we do have the um, Sony Xperia X Compact, uh, which is very, very interesting because all of these phones kind of have like different unique designs. Uh, sure, this one feels a bit plasticky, uh, but it feels very, very nice because it also has this kind of tube design uh, around it. So it feels extremely nice, extremely comfortable to hold. It can probably be a little bit slippy, uh, slippery, uh, but for some reason it doesn't feel like it's going to be that of an annoyance on this phone as it is on some other phones. You can kind of hear some sounds in the background here. The X set is trying to go into menus here. Um, and this uh, Sony Xperia X performance is not doing anything. So that's a little bit interesting. So, I mean, this phone is compact, an X compact phone with a little bit of a different design. And I really gotta say, I, I admire it. Like, it, it seems to be a really, really well made uh, phone design that feels a little bit unique. Uh, let's see, I'm, I don't think it's water resistant. It might actually be. Oops, so I just removed the SIM card. The SIM card thing is a little bit of an annoyance. This one has an MHL thing as well. Uh, but yeah, that, that is one also one new cool phone. I have another phone as well here, which also is a new Sony phone, but also with a little bit of a different design. Uh, this is the Sony Xperia XA. And the cool thing about this phone is that it's like a little bit more slimmer uh, in width, I think, 
uh, and also there is a little bit more edge-to-edge -edge display here on this phone. Uh, 2017 is the year when we're rumored to hear that phones are gonna go full 100% edge-to-edge by even covering these areas uh, with the display that we might see up with the Samsung Galaxy S8 that the, it's gonna have a bigger display But that the um, the kind of like the form factor may stay the same now It's just rumors right now, but it can actually be the real deal uh, So basically how that would work also pretty cool is that when you want to unlock the device with your finger You may be able to push anywhere on the screen. So that is extremely cool so I really really do hope that they do something like that because that would be really really cool um, it might also be a little bit scary so you can kind of see here that the Sony Xperia XA over here it's a little bit bigger uh, compared and a little bit taller compared to the Sony Xperia X Compact uh, really really depends on what you want I mean both are very very classy well made looking phones with uh, very very similar UI let's see here does the menu screen here yes it looks exactly the same and if we go into settings here I'm pretty sure it should be rocking pretty similar operating system experience Android 6.0 with one here and even though this one might have a newer version also available I don't know but uh, very very nice phones overall now let's see how these two phones are doing This one is still making noises. Okay, great. Doesn't seem to be any major issues other than the, the click thing on this one. It's trying to click all over the place. For some reason this one seems to be a little bit more quiet. Might have just been a coincidence. But this one is... Sony Xperia phone here is seems to be a little bit harder to start navigating stuff might also just be a coincidence because I'm pretty sure both have the same kind of I think it's IP68 uh, certification which should be one and a half meter uh, underwater for I think 30 minutes uh, so it's just like very very basic stuff uh, so I think we're gonna do it 30 more uh, seconds then it's been in for five minutes which I usually people's not gonna have it in for five minutes so uh, yeah this is not also of course this is not uh, a depth test so uh, you know this doesn't mean that it's gonna work when it's uh, 30 or like one meter or something underwater for a longer period of time of course it's gonna depend and stuff like that on different circumstances uh, but yeah five minutes has been going here so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna take him up pretty quick and it just feels like when I take up these two phones it really feels like picking up a toy when you pick up the uh, Sony Xperia X performance it really doesn't feel that all that special which is a little bit boring actually so now I'm just gonna clean them off a little bit here and we should be ready to go okay sweet how is it to clean these two off it, it, it was something with the X performance with this one where it just feels like the bezels are a bit too thick uh, which makes it feel a bit unattractive actually um, yeah it, it's weird uh, but this phone is just like if it, it feels like it has like slimmer sides and you can really feel that tube design and you can feel the more like masculine clear glass front side or whatever now material they're using and the back also the tiny details of this like different and up here it's just like very, very nice uh, consideration of uh, design it looks like and we did see some concept renderings being leaked on these devices uh, or this new tube design that we see on this one uh, and uh, it's really really nice because it seems like they worked for it for some time okay so a bit cleaned off there and 
they're still a little bit wet but as you can see you should have no issues rocking it this one I'm not sure why it still has so much maybe it's because I was a bit uh, sloppy but yeah it is interesting phones uh, I do believe though that Sony is gonna if they keep going in this direction where they've been going with this one uh, it's going to be really interesting to see Sony in the future like I can really imagine seeing them do like a, a slimmer version of this one uh, maybe without the headphone jack so this is something that we've been seeing that Samsung also might be rumored this is with Apple to remove it to make a slimmer phone uh, if, if Sony keeps going in this direction by having this little bit of a tube design and uh, this like nice uh, clean um, bottom here they can really have a super unique design uh, so it's going to be really really cool to see what Sony is going to do next year uh, but yeah phone seems to be working great without any issues so that's very very nice to know uh, but yeah quick little video checking that out hopefully you enjoyed and uh, have an awesome day and let me know if you want to see something specific and uh, yeah peace